Good to have you on the show. You know what? Nigerians are confused, though. Because one second, a woman is slapping Akpabiu. Next second, they said he, she's married, he, to, four she's married to four husbands. And then he, Akpabiu is now saying in the papers today that everybody who has swallowed NDDC money must cough it out. There's just so much drama happening. You made some allegations. Could you tell us, break it down for us? Help us understand what is happening, what even happened at NDDC, and why we're we here just hearing about it today. When we started working on this, it was as though we won't see things that will be unhealthy. When we started working on NDDC last year, March, and sometimes towards December or so, yeah, December, towards the end of December, around December 29th, 30th, we unwrapped some few things that we could trace to the present uh, members. Because the years we were trying to have best before, the president ordered a forensic to cover those years. So we were trying to now shift our attention to the present time. Okay. And we wrote a petition to the national uh, effect, but nothing was done. Well, we kept mining document until April, when the commission denied ever awarding any contracts since they got there. And we had documents for 24, less than 24 hours after that denial. We came out with documents and statement that you have, you have awarded contract and you have paid. And there are some things with those contracts. Number one, they, they run foul of every extant law guarding that process. Procurement law was not respected at all. The amount was above the approval limit. Number three, the approval came for those contracts, came days, in fact, almost a month after they had been awarded. Now, they awarded April 6th. And the approval came from the president April 30th. So in, in anticipation of the approval, they spent money. However, <laughs> this is what happened. The president gave them about six billion naira, but the contract awarded was much more. One single company got 4.861 billion naira. Another company got about 1.2 billion. Another one got about 268 uh, 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 million. Then the last one got 749 million. Hmm. However, the contract was five at the earlier stage, but one was removed, perhaps, apparently because they knew that uh, the approval they would give them, you know, would run short. There was another company that was given a contract of 5.2 billion naira that was withdrawn later when they, uh, uh, when they sought it, perhaps when they sensed the reality of the approval they would get. Now, we came out to the public to prove that these contracts were scams. Number one, we mentioned that the company that was given a contract of 4.861 billion naira it eventually got a total of 4.553 billion. So if remove 7.5% as a uh, uh, attack and 5% back, that is what they take there, 12.5%. If that had been removed completely, you wouldn't have 4.553 billion paid to that company out of 4.86 billion. What exactly uh, were these contracts were about? Because um, I think they do have a right to give out contracts for the development okay. of the Niger Delta. So, Very well. Yeah. Very well. Number one, uh, uh, they, have, they have a proof of limit. Mm -hmm. yeah. They have a, which was not respected. Number two, contract of that size would have been sent to FEC or to the president for approval. But that was not done. Okay. Number three, they kept denying that they, that they were yet to award contracts. So apparently those contracts were not meant to be done. I'll give you an example. For the company they gave 4.86 billion naira contract to, they just said for supply of medical equipment. There was no specification. There was no break it down. I mean, uh, I mean breakdown. So how then would the auditor, you know, receive such appropriately to know that number A, what B, number uh, 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 B, what should happen? Then there is something they do. They have a warehouse containing lots of medical supply. So the suspicion is this. When you put out such a contract like this without specification, perhaps nothing will be supplied. At the end, of course, you just open the store because they, don't, they may not keep record or they may not be able to trace the record because you don't even know the exact things they were supplied. Money was disbursed April 6th. Before mm -hmm. the approval. Approval came April 30th. Oh, my so goodness. What was it? In this and, same country. And it's been so ongoing. You, this is not the first time has we've been, had scandals within the NDDC. NDDC has always had... You know, Minister Fashola has always complained about that procurement process. Mm. First, it's cumbersome. Mm. And then there's so many people you have to hand out here. You have to give something to. It's not a smooth process. So money can actually release our coffers without proper presidential or fake approval. Mm. One thing I got from this whole conversation 
when I even watched him on television, and when and now is the fact that there's a cycle. Mm. So you know a big man, and you agree on a contract. So I'm going to be a consultant. I'm an engineering company. I'll consult for maybe for Niger Delta, COVID-19, whatever it is, and you use your office to get approvals. The money comes in, and then you pay maybe maybe five or ten percent to certain consulting firms to actually do some kind of a job. The real money, according to Kolawoli, goes out, is now distributed to private accounts. I saw the video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said it very clearly, that the money comes in because he was able to trace that money to private accounts. So the problem, therefore, is that Nigerians must see. So forget the, the billions you are hearing. Understand that when people get this money, they take just a small portion to do a tiny bit of the work and then share the rest. Mm -hmm. And that's the real crux of that corruption that we're trying to fight. I mean